Night. New game Thursday. Buy gap Thursday. A beautiful thing. Thank you, patrons. Lobos. Riru. Cafe Girl. What's up? Hey, welcome to the stream. My name's Damp Smash. This is Good at Game. Today we're getting into a new game called Evil West. I just saw this last night after the stream. After I closed down the Hogwarts Legacy stream, I was just like on TikTok, came across a creator that does spotlights on new games coming and he was doing one on game pass so he talked about this game this looks rad this looks rad very excited evil west so let's get into it switch on over here to the flat here we go evil west i'm gonna have to go through some options here for a minute not hey Alan, how we doing? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, long time no see. Hope you're doing well, man. Mighty Monarch, what's going on? What's going on, you big beautiful butterfly? Dude. New game Thursday. Thigh gap Thursday. You know when a game just kind of slips through the gap? That that thigh gap. What's going on with the kitty? Dogs over there. What are you doing, dogs? Literally never opened the game. Flying wild hog. Okay. It's a little uh, laggy, doesn't it seem? I'm going to sneeze. Really laggy. Even the stream. Jesus <laughs> Christ. He's going to. I'm excited for it. I can't wait for Dragon's Dogma 2. Hey, right on. I know there's, uh, there's, there is excitement going on about Dragon's Dogma 2. No way, dude. Is this not a controller game? It's cool to be. I'll, I'll don't. I'll just have to tell it to be all a bit. Accepted. Please accept our end user agreement. Yes. Oh, I gotta hold it. Okay. Auto save. Okay. Really? It's not controller at all? For real? Let's try it out. Options, let's see. Trolls. But it's not seeming to recognize my control. Ouch. Oh, I'm excited for this game, too. Hell yeah. Dude, great to see you guys. Sorry I'm doing all this, like, configuration here. Do apologize there. 
So like my controller is connected now. There we go. Itching, I don't gotta do a thing. Well, maybe I gotta turn subtitles on. That's always, it's always something sticky. Language, skill reminders, data gathering. You can have it. You, you know what? You can have it. Huh? You can have it. Gamma, subtitles on. Subtitle size is making big. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Epic video quality on everything. Very nice, very nice. Let's get to it. Woot woot! New game. Okay, difficulty. Normal. It goes story, normal, hard, evil. Damn. Let's just go with... Let's just go with normal. True death? Let's keep that off. I like progress. All right. Let's do it. Since the time of the Founding Fathers, dark forces have been preying on America. Oh, hell yeah, they have. As the fight against these the vampires continues, a secret organization has trained people with <laughs> remarkable skills. The agent's duty is to protect ordinary people from the forces of evil. Hell yeah. Welcome, buddy. We're just starting. Game voice or my voice? Game voice. train robbery while we're on a dynamite Chester will be none too chatty with his guts sprayed all over a train carriage I know how to shape an explosion Edgar all right guys I got a freaking stuffy little nose here it's coming all right is that better it. about the bridge. Oh, Arrow can suck my dick. He's the Secretary of War, not the Secretary of Bridges. <laughs> uh, let's go have a look-see. I go high. Hell yeah, dude. Right on, dude. Objective update. Reach the bridge. Nah, it's not that bad. What's the chain do? I can make it. Okay. <sighs> Opening. That was fun. Hi, puppies. Let's give it a try. Interactions. Some places allow to perform special actions. Walk up towards the symbol and press A once it changes into yellow. Some places allow to perform. Wow. 
Whee! Some places allow to form. Okay. Sixty-six bugs. What's that sound? Stop whining and start moving. <sighs> you smell that? Shit! There's gonna be What the hell is that? Amateurs. Every RI agent wears a steel fist capable of beating enemies to a pulp. Tap RB to punch away. They could be chained into a combo. Hell yeah, dude. New lore. Infected vessel. Sang sanguine suges. Wait, same guys suges. Oh. The weakest link in the sanguish suge? I gotta learn how to say that. Sanguisuge? Family tree. The process of their change was hindered by either an unsupported blood type or general hereditary shortcomings. This unsuccessful transformation deprives the vessel of their humanity and leaves them with an intense craving for blood. Due to the underdeveloped vampiric structure of their jaw, the vessels can't puncture the skin of their prey to suck their blood. Instead, they brutally mutilate their victims and lick the blood from any open wounds. I walked a narrow ledge like that in Arizona once. When I got to the bottom, several people saw me and thought, sure i die oh my god dude what the hell why are you doing that dude okay gauntlet weird all right beta enemy attacks tap a to dodge or double tap to roll away Oh shit, this one's like an elephant. Well, that's pretty fun. I tell you what. Oh, there is no traditional jump. It's gonna make me sad. What do you got here, sir? This is a cutscene. 21 bucks. What's going on here? The patrol just gave out on me. Are you back out here, Madfish? Weird Western vampires and monsters. Exactly. in order of vintage like fine wines. Oh, they're coffins. Oh, they were shipments of people to go to vampires? Oh no, these are vampires? These are vampires, okay. Hey, all dead. Fuck. Fuck. That guy's dead, that guy's dead, that guy's dead. Yep, looks like they're all dead to me, man. Bucks pickups. Make all this worth our time, Chester. Look around for Bucks pickups, which will come in handy later. There are secret chests we found outside the main path. Walk over the money bags to collect money. Them. Money. Hero punch. Press RB while dodging forward, L and A, to close the gap to the enemy and attack immediately. I 
I like it. Sit down. The medication dispenser built within the gauntlet can be used to heal with a short recharging downtime. After each use, press B to heal. Okay. That felt good. Uppercut and punches. Most enemies can be can be uppercut <laughs> with a powerful gauntlet punch. Hold RB for an uppercut. <clears throat> keep hitting the enemy with RB to keep it airborne. Most enemies can be uppercut. This is gold, dude. This shit's gold right here. Most enemies can be uppercut. Thank for playing. Old B for an uppercut. Hell yeah, dude. Seven bucks. Bucks, baby. Cannonball. Hold L and RB to uppercut an enemy and follow it up with a cannonball punch. Cannonballed enemies can be killed by environmental hazards. All right, so I can like slam him into this mo. Boom, baby. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty sweet. What's up, dude? How you doing? Boom, babe. How you doing, sir? What is happening? How you doing? Cannonball. Ooh. Cannonball him to other enemies as well. Okay. Cool. Interesting. It's only 10 hours to finish the storyline. Yeah, we stopped the train because it was full of vampires. Interrupting enemy attacks. Enemies' special attacks are deadly and unstoppable by regular means. Press down the R joystick to interrupt him, them with the kickoff. Where the hell did you get that slicer? Yeah, that's cool. Wait, what? Hell yeah. Hoop <laughs> de grace. Coup de gras. Get close to near-death enemy. Get close to a near-death enemy and execute them in a spectacular fashion. Approach the glowing yellow enemy and press RB for the final blow. Finishers are rewarded with health pickups. You are invulnerable while performing the finisher. Oh yeah, dude, use his own weapon. You're over, pal. You're over, dude. You're over. Bye. Roll over. Roll over. The Genu Giant. These oversized cannibalistic predators are native to the Genu tribe of North America. They are known for their unusually large physiques. The recent decline in their population inspired them to make a deal with Sanguinus as well. Great. 
more ticks. Ticks? Oh, is that what they're called? Ticks? Okay, because they're lesser vampires. Okay. Looks like you could use a hand. Oh, hey, buddy, Edgar. He's got a gun. Oh, oh shit. Oh, bitch, get out the way. Oh shit. Wait, lock on? Ready, steady, go! <laughs> that guy's dead. Oh shit. Gotta be really careful about my health. Oh my god. Okay, so killing an enemy gives me a little health. Dead. Hey Atlas, how we doing? Died. Try it again. What's going on, Atlas? Atlas Galacticus. Welcome to Strem, a Vampire Wild West game. Just started. These two gentlemen, this guy and the character I'm playing, blew up that train railway up there because it was full of vampires that's that's apparently what's going on so i'm fighting lesser vampires here and then that guy Shooting Hadouken, what's going on, Sin? Welcome, welcome. Root shooting Hadouken. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What's going on? I'm having a good old root and two the Western time here. Edgar Gravenor. Thank you, thank you, buddy, Edgar. Thank you, bud. It's pretty fun. Welcome, welcome. Hashtag you conduit. <laughs> you can you conduit. Aaron's gonna duck my pay for sure. All right, so apparently I work for an association Jesus. of vampire hunters. Sprint. Sprinting is faster. Yes, I, I already got that. Yes, I am a seasoned Christ. gamer. <laughs> Worst damn barbecue ever. Nice. What's hey, that? Boyo, guess who's riding in first class and responsible for the biggest delivery in gathering history? Remember when the dream of attending the gathering was just that? Wishful thinking. But I am on my way, soon to be hobnobbing with the creme de la creme. The oldest, the wisest, the most powerful. This is where it begins. If I play this right, in 100 years, I'll be the one being catered to by human douchebags like you. That's it for now. I must bid you adieu. There's still much to do, and I can't louse this up. Yours truly, Chester, the catering king. I'm not bothered by that Irish accent. That was that was that was okay. That was all right. Some some vampire calling himself the Catering King. Yummy and delicious. Extra splicious. Ooh. Uh oh. Oops. So that wasn't supposed to happen. I was just supposed to stop the train, I guess. Can it, do I get a gun? Can I have a gun, please? Oh. <laughs> Holy dude. That was crazy. <laughs> the 
Rentier Revolver, or is it the Rentier? I'm going to say it's the Rentier. The Rentier Revolver. Handy, fast, and reliable. The signature hammer mechanism allows for rapid fanning shots. Provided one's hands are skilled enough, this weapon doesn't require aiming and can reload automatically once the cylinder is emptied. Hold R2 for fanning and tap R2 for single shots. Wow, oh, it's pretty. I love it, dude. PS4 or PS5, Xbox Game P Pass, PC. I'm playing on PC right now. All right on community night tomorrow for PC. That's great. Right on, Alice. A AI game is listening. <laughs> yeah. yeah, brother. <laughs> yeah, dude. Just don't tell them about the Titanic. I love it. It's okay. You know, their hearts will go on. Now that's what I call a game changer. Welcome to America, dipshit. Welcome to America, dipity do. Okay. Bam. Fanning shots. Fanning Tatum. Bam, 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 bitch. Oh. Oh, uh, 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 uh. uh, uh. Oh, really? Uh, oh. He didn't register with the hitbox yet. Yeah, bitch. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, shit. Crankety, crankety. Suckerfish Sunday, man. <laughs> Playing that drum scene. That was fun. This game is wildly entertaining, I must say. I bet one good punch could get me through. Out of my way. See all these coffins? These are vampires. Look around for interaction. Press A to create a passage. Sure, sure. Not the worst looking game. Let's hear how loud my computer is. Not bad. Oh, you gotta watch it back, GT. It's been fun, dude. I've been I've been having a this is a great game, brother. This is a great game couple of really funny typos already dude this is entertaining as shit all right i'll, I'll tell you i'll fill you notes on what's happened dude vampires wild west this dude and his friend blew up that train that's on that train track and they blew it up because it's full you see the train see that train car it's full of coffins those are vampires bro yeah dude vampiric west Vampiric West. Welcome back, dude. It's 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 hilarious. Oh, I made a coffin, made a coffin bridge. Vampires and monsters, dude. It's uh, Wild West Witcher. Objective update: Reach the tail of the train. Shakata, shakajuia. Okay, so I can whack an enemy and then hold RT to keep them airborne. Okay, so like whack him. Give me another guy to shoot. Because I still don't understand that command. All right, let's get up here. 
This is what happens when you let the lawyers take over. It's an it's an historical tale. <laughs> Did you ever see uh, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter? Dude, I firmly believe that's truth. I think that's real. I think that happened. 100%. I'm gonna whack that. Two bucks. I am a happy Wild Westman. I'll tell you that. I'm a happy Wild Westman with a big ol' gun... Uh, go, ch chain... Wolverine hand. Whee! Ugh. Is that oil? Or is that I like smell you, Jess, you lousy skunk? Hey man, you don't call people skunks, dude. That is not cool, man. It's 2024. Uh, come here. Oh. Climb, climb. <laughs> If a vampire gets bitten by a zombie, does it turn into a zombie? Uh, nothing happens to it. Dude, I think vampire way outdoes zombie. Thank you so much, Maddie. I'm freezing my dick off over here. So much better. The world of darkness, a zombie cannot turn a vampire and a vampire cannot feed on a zombie. That makes sense. But I think like a vampire could uh, destroy a zombie. But I don't think a zombie, maybe other than like ripping a vampire to shreds, if that were possible, like physically, like really ripping it apart. Um, but a vampire can't turn a zombie. And stupid is now a forbidden word I hear. It's fucking stupid, dude. That is redacted as shit, bro. Mind if I join you? We were, Will Badger and I were telling GT in his stream earlier, you, Never go full redacted, dude. Oh, dude, I'm just so, some great. Uh oh, Madfish, you okay? Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. The way you reacted, I thought, like. Oh, fuck, man. Madfish stepped in some water that was on the floor, and the way she reacted, I thought, like, she was having a baby again. Jesus. Dude. Scared me. I was like, what's wrong? Ah! Oh, in my head, though. Was... Alright, so I can whack you and then hold that. that did... Oh. Smackety. Jesus, Edgar, watch out. Shit, dude. Oh, he throws bombs. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. This is amazing. Now you're really pissing him off. Yeah, I'm supposed to piss him off, I think. Oh, shit, dude. Oh my god. Come here. Come here a second. Oh, I kicked him in the nuts, man. Kick him in the nuts. I kick you in the nut, bitch. I kick you in the nut, bitch. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> All right, Chester. Now I'm pissed. And let's get that son of a bitch. Oh my god. What do I do with that? That was insane. Dave Avanti. What's up, brother? PPP at Mad Fishy messing with your feelings. <laughs> feelings. That was a good one. Hell yeah, Dave. Dude.
That's so redacted. <laughs> Mummy is cursed. They are undead, but cursed. Dude, I'm loving this conversation, Sin. This is the kind of shit I love. Okay, so new question. Is a mummy undead or a curse, and would you consider a zombie a mummy? Nah, I wouldn't consider a zombie a mummy, because a mummy was embalmed, right? Ooh, but it is just the raised dead. You're right, okay. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so there is a cultural influence when it comes to the difference between zombie and mummy. Okay, all right. That kind of makes sense, right? But I guess because you always kind of see the the, the stereotypical uh, mummy is coming out of a pyramid, right? Ooh, you know. Kick that bitch in the nuts, dude. <laughs> this is so fucking rad. Carrion husk. Look at that, dude. Carrion husks are husk. -us. Now that's redacted. <laughs> Never go full Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, it is the rites and rituals. Mummies exist far beyond Egypt. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, thank you for the light call, dude. Appreciate that. Carrion husks are failed experiments, an early attempt to accelerate the change. Learning some things here. Their skin calcifies into a hardened husk that gradually starts to rot from the inside out. The massive boils that erupt consist of blood and bone marrow that weaker vampires can consume to sustain themselves. Some say the nutrition afforded allows them to survive for a couple of minutes in the sun. Due to their enormous endurance, carrion husks are tasked with protecting vampiric nests. So these are basically mobile delis. And we, we've learned some things here. There's something called the change... They were an attempt to accelerate the change. So there's some hinky dinky somebody experimenting. Something happened. The change. Change. Okay, so we've learned there's something called the change. We also have learned they can't go out in the sun. The Mayans had, had mummified people. That's awesome. And no mummies have ever been found in any pyramid, any continent. Isn't that awesome, Dara? <laughs> Certain South American cultures, Korean cultures, etc. There are a great many who had different past rites and rituals for their death. Peruvian cultures too. The Olmec, most island peoples. Dude, talk about Olmec, dude. Watch some Legends of the Hidden Temple, man. Hmm? Talk to Olmec. All right. Sin knows way too much. No, I like, I, this is the kind of like, I love those niche questions. Like, GT, like, you asked a really good question, dude. That was specific. That was niche. I don't know why, but the, my brain really likes those questions and the answers to them. It's kind of like um, a bear and a rhino. What's going to win? Fucking rhino. Fucking rhino is going to win. If you think bears good, give me your arguments. Let's let's read some arguments. Uh, okay, try to sway me. See see. Let's try to yeah. Try to sway me. I think a rhino, bear or rhino. Okay, let's talk terrain. Uh, grassland, just open prairie, grass. Oh, I'd put money on the bear, dude. See, this is now I'm talking. Now we're talking, dude. Now I'm excited. <laughs> oh shit, on the bear, dude. On a rhino. Bro, we got to look at the weight difference. Rhino's got a good, solid center of gravity, dude. If a bear gets up on its hind legs, it could get fucked up. Bear's more nimble, for sure, for sure. But a rhino's tough, like that skin, that leather skin, that shell, dude. That is tough, man. See? Dude, I love it. Love it. Depends on what bear. Okay, okay. Polar bear make... Okay. Yeah, that's right. All right, let's make it a polar bear. Yeah, a polar bear versus an Africa... Great African rhino. Hmm, bear versus rhino on open prairie. The rhino will tire the bear out. That's what I'm thinking. The bear has its 
bite force, but rhinos kill more people each year than bears. The rhino could do damage, but the bear could take it to a point. Rhino, hands down. They can actually run fast. Dude, I'm thinking rhino. I assume black bear. But GT's got some good points about bear. I was gonna say, we're going to say polar bear because it's, it's, uh, size-wise, it's probably going to match a rhino better than a black bear or a grizzly. Sin, you assumed, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, polar bear wins every time? Even a black bear would down. Okay, what if they're both really hungry? Because isn't a rhino an herbivore? Okay, if a rhino's... Yeah, okay, if they're hungry... If they're hungry, bear. I think if they're hungry, the bear is going to win. Yeah, then the bear wins. Black bears are pussies. <laughs> Compared to any grizzly. And polar bear are two times the size. Set this match up, dude. Yeah, let's call it in. Let's get Dana White. The rhino will be too tired. These conditions are pretty good. I feel bad, though, starving them. I mean, we've already kidnapped them and forced them to fight in possibly not their natural environments. Yeah, I meant grizzly, not, not black bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I had a letter to read. Chester Morgan's letter. Oh. Alright, so that's what I'm searching for is, is Chester Morgan. Son of a bitch. That's the guy who... Speaking. Rhino's best bet is to start swimming. Uh, but we'll only tire it out faster. That's true. Bears are really good in the water though, aren't they? Aren't bears like lickety quick? I mean, there's that old adage that they poop there too, right? Young rent here. Still on your father's leash, I see. That's Chester. <laughs> Heard you were on your way to the gathering, Chess. What's this? Catering? Oh, Boy, I have no idea what you They're not vampires, they're humans alive in those coffins. That big shiny ball out there is no good for your sensitive skin. The sun's not to know what they'll do to me. Fun game. Let's test that theory. No, 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 Rich, you're stuck! Belmontville! The, the gathering's in Belmontville! Excellent choice, Chester. And since you're feeling so damn helpful, we're gonna be needing a guide. Consider it a promotion. Dipshit. Belmontville's a long way from the manor. We're on a clock here. We've been hunting Debono for three months. What's another few hours? Uh, have it your way. But your father's gonna have your ass as an ashtray if we don't make that presentation. You're retired. What's he gonna do? Fire you? <laughs> How many of us think this game's like totally AI? The uh, let's see, another oh, schematic. Belmontville Mines, huh? Oh, we're gonna be walking <laughs> blind into a damn maze. And if our tick friend here is telling the truth. The Bono's going to be right in the middle of it. I don't think I'm in a position to lie, do you? <laughs> That's the spirit, Chester. Now you lift those fancy illusions, and who knows? Maybe you'll make it out of this after all. The glamour! I... <laughs> Even I have my limitations, Mr. Graveman. Hey, Matty, I put two cokes in that freezer. Would you pull those out of there? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> question alias thank you and where do you think you're going judging by that tone of yours sounds like i'm making sure fancy pants here doesn't make a run for it in broad daylight that's why we need familiars i'm starting to question your qualifications for this job those nice. ass licking <laughs> tick lovers should be shot on sight ah what the hell maybe we can play with dynamite out here too right jess I'll make you a new waistcoat. I don't believe my tailor would like that. See? 
You're bonding already. Ah, eat me. Find the entrance to the underground. Oh, I got a riffle. Aimed weapon, perfect for long range precision shots, including hitting enemies' weak spots. Capable of rapid target switching. Hold LT to aim. Press RT to shoot. Hell yeah, dude. I gotta catch up on this bear v rhino talk here real quick. Uh, during the cutscene, I saw something about sun bears just dying. I almost I almost spit my coke out. Let's see here. Rhino wouldn't back down, but it spanked. <laughs> Dude, not all bears are good in the water. It's true. They're good swimmers. Polar bears might be pretty good in the water. A grizzly would go ham. The black bear would try to get away. Fight when cornered. Yep. Would like try to climb a tree. Belmontville. Nice. <laughs> like a sun bear would fucking die. <laughs> and uh, dead. Uh, that is a great tongue-in-cheek Castlevania reference. This game's hilarious. Well, Rhino, just like Walrus, have pointy things. And if Polar Bear gets hit in the legs or vital spots, Rhino could win. Sure, if it nicks a, yeah. Also, but I'm saying Polar Bear win 80% of the time in that battle. What? Really? <laughs> LOL Chester. <laughs> Sun Bears can be little fuckers. They're like little black puss bears. Could you imagine, though, like, what if the, it wasn't? What if it was like a little like uh, Stitch? You remember remember Lilo and Stitch? What if it was like a little like We had a, a crazy ass bear like that. I guess I'm just thinking of like a monkey. <laughs> just thinking of a monkey. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. You're in a legal state, check out Altered Alchemy if uh live in a state that imports. Altered Alchemy is a delicious brand. Of cured resins. Oh, look at that puppy. Love Stitch. He's my favorite Disney character after Genie and is my spirit animal. Hell yeah. You do you like Kingdom Hearts? Hearts is my favorite game ever. Do you like Kingdom Hearts? It's my favorite. But nobody will let me stream it anymore. Bears, monkeys, what's the difference? I know, right? Right? Oh, Sin. You're right. Yes. Yes, the first two. Oh. One is the best. The best best two is great as well but one oh yeah dude cage is not for kids well it is for kids but not just for kids but lobos doesn't like it <laughs> all close up key swords rule <laughs> key blades <laughs> key blades key blade I don't know. I I have played all of them. Not gonna lie. Ooh! Horses? Oh, okay, what am I doing? Alright, I got some lore to read. Ooh, what is this? Weird. Or the raid. Oh, the questionable cargo. Okay, here we go. Oh, I missed two uh, drops in that level. Nice. Yep. Yep. Two thousand twelve. That's when. That's when it was released. North America. And I became. Different kid. Dude, that game. 
a ton. Uh, very heavy undulates. Right. All right. Jesse Rancher. Okay, let's read the questionable cargo. As the explosion set by the agents sweeps the train off its tracks, Jesse and Edgar finally reach a wreck, sheltering the hustler responsible for the questionable cargo. A vampire called Chester Morgan has been hauling blood and monsters to a secret meeting inside Belmontville Mines, where a huge congregation of ancient vampires is about to take place, hoping to catch a notorious vampire lord, Peter de Abano. Edgar and Jesse decide to follow the lead. The raid. By thoroughly thrashing the vampire in charge of the questionable cargo, Jesse and Edgar elicit a lead that sends them to the Belmontville. The reluctant bloodsucker guides them down a labyrinth of dark, winding paths to the ruins of an ancient temple where a mysterious vampire conclave is taking place. Dude, sun bears are pretty cool. You ever seen a sunfish? That's pretty cool. Very thick skin, huh? Heck yeah, dude. Grizzly? Yeah. They can, yeah, a rhino could stand up to a grizzly, I think. Polar bear, though. Son of William Rentier, the director of the Rentier Institute, after losing his mother as a child. Jesse was raised by his father and forced into training. Regimen was designed to turn him into the Institute's next director. Jesse's earliest memories of are, are of hunting monsters. Because of his father's guidance, he seems himself as a sword against the forces of evil, a shield that can protect the helpless from the hidden evil lurking in the darkness. Though there's a still rebellious part of himself that questions his place in the war, his father's plan for the future. Edgar Gravenor. As a young soldier fighting in the 54th Massachusetts during the Civil War, Edgar Gravenor found himself facing an actual monster at the Battle of Fort Wagner. The creature, a stone clad, thinned their ranks every night. Edgar, standing sentry one evening, came face to face with the beast. Fortunately, was saved by a young William Rentier at the peak of his skill, physical strength, and ferocity. He and William became fast friends, and eventually, Edgar had the opportunity to return the favor. Upon the death of his father, William became the director of the Rentier Institute, and Edgar joined him as his right hand and aide. Because of Edgar's extensive combat experience, William assigned him the task of training the next generation of hunters. Jesse became Edgar's star pupil, and later, Edgar's partner. Together, they forged a path as the Institute's premier field team. That's rad. Sounds like we're conceptualizing a zoo fights game. Might be. Is there a game like this? I'm down. Piss off Pete is something fierce. Dude, we could probably, like, there must be a simulator. Animal fight simulator. Zoo fight simulator. Chester Morgan. Over the last few decades, Chester made extensive contacts with various underworld characters. He provides inside intel to all his connections, and has made quite a few enemies in the process. He's well known as a fixer in the vampire community, and has served as an errand boy and courier for prominent highborns. That the things just look sick, dude. It's so rad. It's so rad. <laughs> Tabs. Might have some of those. I think about it. <laughs> Hell yeah. <clears throat> cough, cough. All right, Edgar. That gathering won't find itself, you know? Why aren't your lips moving when you're talking? Sheriff. Totally accurate battle simulator. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. Oh shit. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. You I try right so hard. Oh shut up. I told you my sight's not recovered after the change. 
Hey, so you're telling me it's not the blues? Change. This. Eggplant rooster. Do <laughs> with this, GT. The rentier rifle allows for precise long-range shots that deal significant to- I'm supposed to shoot these guys? These happy jolly fellows over here? Hey, Matty, you okay? All right. Weak spots. Use the rentier rifle to shoot glowing weak spots and deal severe damage. His head blew. Oh, shit hole. Who else? Servant gunslinger. Familiars. Okay. The human servants of the Sanguisuge are referred to as familiars. They help vampires accomplish things they can't accomplish themselves. For example, any activity that can only be performed during the day. These dedicated slaves will give their lives for their masters. Often they let their masters feed on them, which creates an even deeper bond. All familiars hope that one day their masters will turn them into vampires. However, they are usually disposed as that gift is rarely given. Undead redemption, that's exactly what I... And cock! <laughs> now we're talking, dude. Now we're talking. Sing is this him? <laughs> Cosine. You know those guys drop something? It reloads really quick. What's that? Family of Calvert. Oh, another tick wannabe. Well, that's not gonna happen. Looks like a sketch for a tattoo. Familiars tend to brand themselves like this. At first, I thought it was skin. Not gonna lie. Since the Garden of Eden. I would have eaten that apple too, dude. Oh. <gasps> Guy was dead. I seriously just couldn't walk around the cart. Ooh. 154 bucks. That's me. mine. Hit it with my hammer fist. Which is there, little glitches. Explosive objects. The TNT crates explodes when shot, dealing damage. <laughs> Syncretic? Yeah, but, like, why there's gotta be so much dirt? Ah, it's in the desert, I think. The dirty dessert. I wanna go this way, though. The dirty desserty. Uh, uh, carriage. Whee! I'll take that. 36 bucks. Is that all that was over here? Indeed. Glad I backtracked. There's always something. There's always money in the banana stand. Especially yours. 
I've been to Nevada. It looked a lot like this. We went to, I was, I visited Pahrump, Nevada when I was very young. He's dead. That guy's also dead. Shit. Hey, 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 no. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. So when that pops up, I can snap to it. Okay. New lore. You've been ever been in the Southwest? Dirt is what they got. <laughs> um. Goodness. Um. Southwest. Hey, you talking like? Oh, California. I, I'm moving back to the Southwest. I've been away for almost two years. Wow, hey. Well, hey, I hope you have an easy move. That's a, that's big. Serpent sharpsuit shooter, much like the Brutes. Servant sharpshooters are also allowed to participate in the communion. Unlike the Brutes, however, their ritual requires them to have foul vampiric blood sprayed into their eyes. A parasitic leech-like bug that lives in the blood burrows into their eyeballs, changing its color and shape, allowing the servant sharpshooters to look further into the distance and see in the dark. It's fucking great. Four day trek. Should be back in Arizona by Easter. Holy That's pretty funny. Blow everything up for good measure, you know. <laughs> oh, smack it. Road clear. <laughs> smells of dicks. Gathering must be close by. Smells of dicks. <laughs> Come on. They knew what they were doing, dude. Smells of dicks. You ever go to Yellowstone National Park? Roosevelt killed the one of the biggest grizzlies found in the U.S. A foot tall. Jesus, man. The great highs. <laughs> Lobo's very excited by that. <gasps> Spider, no oh, fucking shit. <laughs> Sorry, I don't like spiders. Oh, in case you don't like spiders, you can disable them in the games menu. Well, that's Fucking nice. Maze. Fucking Gotta maze. Gotta be a way out, though. Yeah. Let's go this way. <laughs> Fucking blowing shit. Dick sniffers, dude. <laughs> Dick sniffer. One way ticket, yeah. Fifty-one bucks. 
Eight spiders, yeah, oh yeah. But that was in the 80s. A lot of stuff like dead animals had been removed from a lot of places. <laughs> Meat gazers, I like that one too. Yeah, that looks about right. Boner benchers. I have an idea. I just came up with this idea for a character. His name's the Boner Bomber. It's a suicide bomber. <laughs> put me down. Just put me down. Shit, I'm stuck. Oh. I'll bet my last dime to Bono's here somewhere. To Bono. To Bono. Boner bomb. <laughs> you know, they are incredible. I also have a... Just, it's, it's an instinct, you know? Just like, you know? Fucking oh! Dead end. Great. Oh. See him get chills. Blah, blah, blah. Seeing this too? Take it off. Ooh. Mr. Rentier, on a first date? What do you take me for? You're right. Maybe a little light to set the mood. No, no need. I see it now. Of course. The glamour. I'm on it. Mm. Today, Chester. Please, I need to concentrate. It's not that easy to sever the illusion from its source. What's the source? You don't want to know. Take the explosives, you get to Bono. Is this about the bridge? It's not not about the bridge. <sighs> Got the damn train, didn't I? Dude. I've I've had to get rid of so many black widows. They are so invasive. So invasive. Get fuck it. Fat dude, they get so big, man. Sucks, cause you don't want to fuck with them, but they're just, they just get everywhere you don't want them to get. Mm. Ever sucking. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, they're so, so dangerous, and we have brown recluse here too. And I now I have never seen one. I've lived here since I was. Seven years old. Thirty-three. There you go. Oh. Nice. Hello. Fish. 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 Oh. 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 Bitch. Oh. Bitch. Back. Oh, what's up, bitch? Bitch, 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 Oh, 
Oh, go get it, go get it. Oh, that gets me health. Oh, that was dope, dude. Shot him, shot him, and then I boom. I kicked him in the dude. You just you ever just kick a guy in the dick real hard? Huh? What? <laughs> Thank you, GT. I I can't help it, dude. I make my own sound effects. <laughs> Can you imagine if I was uh, John Wick? <laughs> those movies would be very different. You get health points from those glowing leftovers. Yeah, but I was topped up. So they, I didn't absorb them. It was 879 pounds. Now I'll show you the biggest polar bear size reported. 2,209 pounds. 17 foot tall. 22 inch paw. It was a male. Shot at uh, Ko Ko Kotzebue Sound in northwestern Alaska in 1960. Jesus. Gila monsters are nastier than spiders. They need to be cut off of you. Even at death, their jaws stay locked and they are venomous. That's rad, dude. That's rad. That's like some people's ex-wives. Find the way to the tier tech architecture, but that that's something. Is that the freaking atlas from uh control or what? Alright. Dude, it seems like there's more guns. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I like this game a lot. It's hard to compete against the species that keeps on growing and advancing with their technology. Creating new and more dangerous weapons of war and other engineering marvels. As I see it, the real struggle is nature versus technology. Instinct versus genius. We have allowed those naturally subordinate to us to transform themselves from prey into predators. If we don't alter this trajectory, eventually they will murder us all. <laughs> Ew, you found a huge nest of them? Ooh, that's bad. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> that thing got out of the garage one day, snuck off, and made more spiders. <laughs> Um, oh. Oh. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I wasn't, I didn't feel like I committed, but apparently I did. I fucking love this. This game is so fucking great, dude. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank you, folks. That's very kind of you. Okay. Jump Jack. Oh, I'm sorry. Pump Jack. <laughs> Pump Jack. Dealing damage with the gauntlet reduces the cooldown of the healing dispenser. That's pretty cool. <laughs> healing dispenser. <laughs> Pump jack, baby. Eat us to complete us. Pump jack, basically. All I hear you saying is pump jack. Fuck. 
fucking hilarious, dude. Okay, I have all these already. Uh, Blasting Impression. The Kickoff and Hero Punch deal additional splash damage to all new Chain of Command. This is the kickoff. Chaining the next melee combo attack. Right when the previous one connects, deals 30% increased damage and makes the next punch faster. Jesus. Wow. He really wants me to get Pump Jack. <laughs> yeah, messy game. Yeah, Lobos. Hey, this is AI, dude. New perks are unlocked with each level up. You can activate a perk by allocating perk points. Later on, you will also be able to reset your perk points and spend them again, free of charge. <laughs> activate a perk now. Pump Jack, dude. Go with Pump Jack. God damn, that's funny. Oh. Sound like somebody just took a shot at me, didn't it? No? Secrets. <laughs> Messy game. But we're having fun, right? We're having fun. I think we're having fun. Chat's blazing. We talked about bears versus rhinos. That was really that was really good. Um I'm gonna go ahead and say that was a practice round. There's no winner in that one. That's the pra that's the practice. That's our practice. We'll get we'll get a better one for tomorrow's stream. I'll think of something. We'll debate it for tomorrow night's stream. Good reaction time. New lore. The fu screeching devil. Yeah, look at that. Dude. Their particular, their peculiar name first appeared in print in 1887. A newspaper article told the tale of a hunting party who encountered a flying monster in the wilds of New Jersey. The writer dubbed it the screeching. An R.I. agent picked up on the nickname and the moniker stuck. These winged and these winged and fast moving creatures emit a high pitched blood curdling scream that serves as a warning to any nearby sanguisig and alerts them to danger. Screeching devils often fly together in flocks, and the sound they make can be deafening to those who would do them harm. God damn nasty. <laughs> Hard boiled eggs. My birthday falls on Bunny Easter Day this year. So bunnies with horns are jackalopes. So I must be one. I would say so. Because you killed one guy with another guy. <laughs> I think that's what the chime sound was for. Okay, that's cool. Got hard boiled eggs for your birthday? Prefer deviled eggs. Oh, you don't eat eggs anymore? Yeah. Malted milk balls. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh. I'm sorry. Sorry. I don't... I hate malt, man. I don't know what it is. I can't... Ah, it makes me, like, salivate. Like, it's like a sour thing, but, like, in a nasty... Gross vibe. Oh, oh, I hate... Oh, I hate malt. Oh, like whoppers? Oh, fuck a whopper. Fuck a whopper in the, in the butt, dude. I hate a whopper. 
God, not from Burger King. Give me that shit, dude. I'm a little one going on. Sorry. No tomato. Their tomato's too big. They used to give you two little ones. Now they just give you one fucking big fuck you tomato slice. Can I go down there? Looks like there's a secret down there that I want to touch. Where is it? Oh, no, it's just a goddamn fucking torch. Loading. <laughs> Loading assets not present. Must be a secret. Bone marrow. Look for a blank place to shoot in order to activate the interaction shoot with the rifle. I got so unmalted milk pauses. You got sick? So sick. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I got you. I got you, Sin. Yep. Yep. Ugh. Fuck a whopper in the butt, bro. The candy. Candy. Yeah, dude. Fuck a whopper in the shit. Chicken and reptiles, baby. Hey, mighty. Welcome back, dude. Wow, we have had some discussions. Right now we're talking about... Uh, well, actually, we're not talking about that anymore. Because some people cut the munchies and no snackies. Or they got the munchies, but they also have self-control. So they're like, nah, I'm not gonna go eat this shit. I tell you what. I tell you what. Gotcha. Hell yeah, dude. That one percent milk they ha I had the other day. Never again. We are a unique species, brothers and sisters. We are not bred. We are not born. We come to life when we accept the gift of change. Change. Our powers are many, and they have served us well. The art of glamour has given us safety through secrecy, but I am afraid we are becoming the victims of progress. Sooner or later, human technology will find a way to see past our illusions. They will expose and demonize us and make us their ultimate enemy. Inevitably, we will become their inferiors. Ah. Okay. Note two of three. Doctor says I must lose weight before my knee replacement. Dang. I get that. Yeah, you got it, dude. You got this shit. Pump that iron. Pump that shit, bro. Pump that iron shit. Ooh, yogurt's and fruit. Dude, got some yogurt in the fridge right now. They it's banging. It's banging. And uh, usually, Oral will like be cool with me having a couple bites of the pear that I'm Jesus, feeding her. It's huge. When did they build this? And how? Not today. She was like, give me that shit. Give me all that shit. Every time I was like, she was like, ah! like that. She was like, ah! I love being a dad. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Be Hachi Hachi. Catch 22, man. Oh, 
I see you peeing. I see you. You're looking at me while you're peeing. I see you peeing right there. Okay. My fish, dear. My fish, my love. <laughs> Could you grab a, a towel for that pea spot? Thanks, honey. Puppy pee, puppy pee. So, I want to, like, get this. That's what I want. there was a lock on maybe there is and I just tutorial hasn't shown it to me yet Big sassy boy. Uh, I think I kind of, I'm on the second mission. Help! <laughs> like in Super Troopers candy bars. It's been so long since I've seen that, dude. I don't know, I remember that. So this huge battle is really just a tutorial? It might be. I, I don't... I, I maybe. I'm probably still in... A little bit of tutorial land, yeah. sure. Okay, got a few more to go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, and that releases the gate. That I cannot go under yet. Ah. Splat. <laughs> See, it, dude, it's so fun. Puppy, hey puppy, sweetie. Entrance. Looks even bigger up close. That's what well, she said. Let's crash their little party. Let's crash this party. Hold up a sec. I need to go into the settings here and change the brightness, man. Gamma. Better. It's green. We consider ourselves proud hunters, predators. But that pride sometimes prevents us from growing as a species. Internal divisions have weakened us. Our numbers dwindle while their numbers grow. But it's not too late. We can still survive. But to do so, we must be ready to adapt. We cannot be too proud to evolve. Mm. The trailer for that was dope, dude. He goes, he goes. The juice is loose. That's so good.
weird. Ghostbusters is tomorrow. Nice. And then there's that new Alien movie. Um, I heard Riley Reed's gonna be in that. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I'm so redacted. Enough. Your lines thirst for all out war with the humans endangers us all. Peter Navano. Without the sheep. The wolves go hungry, yes. But the day is coming when the sheep will outwit the wolves. Alright, sheep and a wolf, Haven't go. No. Watching, brother? The humans have harnessed the power of steam and lightning. And they grow mighty. If our hubris allows us to grow fat and lazy in the shadows, they will soon have the power to hunt us down like dogs. And so you propose war. War suggests there is a chance we might you want? lose. I'm good. I propose we strike. With my new asset, we can control the change. Reclaim the Sanguasuja's rightful place at the top of the food chain. Control the change? Are you mad? Even suggesting such a thing is blasphemy. Dominic, brother, these are blasphemous times. While my methods may very well be at variance with our tradition, I can tell you one thing. If we don't adapt, we will perish. Enough. I will not allow you and your bastard breed to, to lead us into annihilation. Peter Davan, for the high crime of conspiracy against your own kind. I sentence you and your line to the true death. I told you, Father. They wouldn't listen. We had to try, Felicity Migara. Our work will be a lot easier if we can help them understand. If we can't... Then... We... Force them to! What the heck? They are blasphemous times. We're riding it.
dodge button is A. It's so weird. Oh. Okay, sloppy jalopy. remap that dodge yeah for sure <laughs> fucking playing like that huh
<laughs> that was uh, kind of a glitchy, glitchy ending. Think you could have brought a bigger knife? Some people get a gold watch when they retire. <laughs> I got Susan here. That was fun. <laughs> Should have asked him how to get out of here. Too late. He won't be of any use for a month or two. Still alive? Wait. What about Chester? Well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> now that is how you shape an explosion. Damn, we're late. Now at least we won't be going back to the manor empty-handed. <laughs> this game is ridiculous. Oh, they killed the. Oh, wow. <laughs> the first spark. I have to read about that. Oh, seven. Oh, seven. Oh, I'll be damned. That's a new way to spend taxpayers' <gasps> money. Whoa. James Harrow. The people's hero. <laughs> I heard the White House sends him golden toilet paper. As long as he keeps the presidential ass clear of tick trouble. Feed him well. We've got a lot of ground to cover tonight. You're not staying for the presentation? The whole institute is in town. Uh, I'll pass on the corporate back padding session. I don't need another retirement lecture. Here, take this to your father before it wakes up and starts cursing us all to high hell. Huh? Great, so I'll just tell him you've traded killing vampires for swilling cheap bourbon? Tell him whatever you want. Fine, skip the presentation. But you ain't getting away from a final drink with me afterwards. Aim. Reminds me of a gory Wild West, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's fun. I'm, it's, it's fun because it's spoken fun. It's crazy. It's so crazy. Home sweet home. 126 bucks. Jesse Rentier. Thank you, agent. See you, see you. Back, everyone. As life goes on, we stand guard at the gates. Daily Mail, September 1893. America will become a cultural force, creating modern masterpieces that rival those of the greatest composers and playwrights of old Europe. President Grover Cleveland at the corner store laying ceremony for the Chesterfield Opera. Oh, that's nice. Mr. Rent here? At ease, boys. Yeah. My father in his office? He yeah. is. It is, thank you. Thank you, babe. Wow. Hello, sir. Hi. Director Rent here spared no expense to approve those gauntlets. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Oh, officially, they called it a cholera epidemic, but the truth was they were dealing with a terrible outbreak of amateur necromancy. Oh, shit. The entire institute was engaged in the hunt. Oh, that's awesome, dude. <laughs> That uh, Mark Zuckerberg there with Abraham Lincoln? Train fare here cost me an arm and a leg. Sure hope it's worth it. Lincoln, baby. <laughs> Veil of Secrets. Daily Mail, June 1894. Unexplained creature sightings in Richmond, California. It's a fake one. Long time no see, Mr. Yep, hello, agent. R.I. Files, allow me to convey on behalf of the President of the United States, Benjamin Harrison, my warmest congratulations on Rentier's Institute 75th anniversary. Opening 50th branch of the Institute, which coincides with the celebration, 
that's oh, bad grammar, opening the 50th branch of the Institute, which coincides with the celebration, is a true mark of importance that this fine institution has in our great country. I am more than confident that Director Rentier's visionary leadership will continue to protect our citizens from any supernatural forces we can encounter. It's truly Secretary of War. Stephen Benton Elkins. P.S. We are going to attend the reception together. D.C.'s Rentier Institute Outpost Director, Mr. Edward Jones. I hope you don't mind letting him leave his post for this well-deserved celebration. Uh, it's still sight unexplained creatures in California. Oh yeah, dude. My first year of cadet training, and I'm the shortest one of the bunch. Well, the very next year, I grew like a weed. Had to buy all new pants. Hi. Take a break here in about Mr. Rentier, 13 minutes. Dooba dabby dooby. Cool. Yeah, go for it. Let's see. Parks. Tractor. That'll lower the gamma. First spark. After the destruction of the Belmontville Temple, Jesse and Edgar head back to the manor, the headquarters of the Rentier Institute. This venerable monster hunting organization is led by Jesse's father, William Rentier, they carry with them a trophy of vampire nobility, the head of Peter D'Avano. Jesse is counting on an audience with his father. He's about to present a new and deadly invention to the assembled crowd. An electrical device designed to not only destroy vampires, but shatter the vampiric illusions they create called glamours. God damn. Peter Diabano. As a human, Peter Diabano was a philosopher who dabbled in the dark arts. The Sanguis the Sanguisuge saw his talent and offered him power and immortality. He didn't accept out of greed or the promise of a better life, but because this change would aid his ambition's quest for true wisdom. However, once he accepted the blood, Peter found himself part of the family something he never experienced before. Over time, he saw that the humans were growing stronger with their science and technology, and soon would eclipse the, sangu the Sanguisuge and relegate them to a footnote in history. He decided to act and started performing experiments. He used modern science to breed new mutations and created an army of foul bloods easily manipulated by their vampire masters. Each of these monsters are horribly disfigured nightmares created by Diabano's accelerated process of transformation. Hell yeah. That sounds rad. Vampire Highborn. Ooh, it's got tits. Highborns are the strongest, most powerful of all Sanguisuge species. They are of pure blood and descendants of the original Sanguisuge. They are extremely intelligent, dangerously cunning, and physically imposing. They can easily ensnare humans, using either the strength of their bodies or the power of their minds. Thanks to a blood bond, they can communicate telepathically and use that ability to control their victims as well as their furry helpers, bats, or wolves. Shit, dude. Yep. All the notes I've read all this. RI files. Read it. Hundred and five bucks. Director Rentier sure looked edgy. Something's up. I can smell it. I can smell it. How did it go? Did you get that big fangster you were after? Bad. Bad. 
I can't walk through here? For real? Oh shit, kick. Where the hell you been? I kick. Heavy as hell. First prototype of the gauntlet. 1883. Wee. Gravener's with you. He sends his regards. He's afraid you'll try and talk him out of retirement again. I don't believe either of us want that. You know, he <laughs> did risk his life to get this for you. That's Harrow's trinket. I'm sure you'll both be rewarded accordingly. Edgar isn't some civilian looking for a medal. This is all he knows. Your institute saw to that. My institute? <sighs> this isn't about Agent Gravener, Jesse. We are on the cusp of great progress, great change. Today's presentation is of critical importance to the family. After which... Edgar is family. After which, I expect you to step up to your duties here at the manor. With all due respect, Director, I am a field agent, not a paper pusher. You're a rentier! <sighs> rentier! Why must you always make me spoon-feed these things to you, Jesse? There are bigger things at work here than running around in caves slaying beasts. I do believe someday soon you will see it my way. And if you don't, it's my responsibility to force that change. Now, leave me be. I must prepare for the presentation. A dick. And send okay, someone in here to clean up this mess. Jesus, talk to Agent. Okay, Agent Feathers. You're just in time. The presentation should be starting soon. What do you got for me this time? Ooh. Stuff. Okay, that's what I spend my money on. Okay, for the revolver. Mid air shot. An enemy can be shot right after becoming airborne with a single revolver bullet for increased damage. Effect can be repeated with the right timing as long as the enemy stays in midair. Does not work with planning action. Or for the augmentations of various fighting tools like the heat dispenser module built into the gauntlet. Healing is now followed up with a short five second in. No, that just seems like cheating. Okay, for the rifle, hitting a weak spot now restores a bullet spent on it. <laughs> Man, dude, shut up. <laughs> How cool is that? Right on. I get one of these points? Oh no, I'm just spending money. Upgrades. Don't have enough money. I see. I have enough money for mid-air shot. I'm gonna save it. Attend the presentation. You can buy upgrades anytime. By opening your inventory. All right, that's really handy. All right, where's this presentation?
Where do I gotta go? Edgar and my father in the Civil War. Jeez. Right before the bloody Battle of the Wilderness, Central Virginia. His life changed forever during that fight. Highborn nearly killed him. Badly tore up his leg. Edgar carried him in the dead of night across enemy lines to a field hospital, but the surgeon could only do so much. After that, Dad could no longer function in the field. Damn. All right, well, hey, uh, while I'm here, trying to figure it all out. <laughs> so cool. I'm take a little break. I will be on a BRB bus back in just a few moments. Thank you.
Get back on into that good at game date night live ness. He's late night. Well, good at game. <laughs> Thank you, patrons. Lobos. Riri. A cafe girl. I finished. Could you plug that in? He's a dead. Could you do this? Could you do that? Mephish, can you do everything I want you to? Mephish, 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 can you do this? Can you do that? Mephish. All right, I know I'm annoying. I got it from me. Oh. Cool. Gotta get some more of those. I upside down eye triangle things eye this angle did you see that airship all the big shots from dc don't come here for no reason where it is the director's gonna show off a new version of the god but i mean you didn't hear that from me who's that Okay. Oh. Gravener by the stables. He ain't coming in. I heard Gravener's finally retired. Retired. You gotta check the comments, Maddie. Gentlemen, uh. Gentlemen, if you'll take your seats. And, uh, <laughs> welcome. Yeah, I'm Assistant Secretary of War, James Harrow. President Cleveland wants you to know how appreciative we are of the vital service the Urentia Institute performs, defending our great country from monsters of all shapes and sizes. He also wanted me to make sure you're not blowing all our money on Mexican Monty. But that's another conversation. <laughs> yes, quite. Well, uh, as I say, keep up the good work. God bless you all, and uh, God bless America. Thank you all for gathering here tonight. It's rare we gather in such numbers, but I believe great progress calls for momentous celebration. Our efforts in the fight against the Sanguisuge's spread have too often been baffled by the creature's most insidious weapon, their so-called glamours. These impenetrable illusions have allowed countless fiends to slip through our grasp for too long. That ends now. Agent Rentier, we've upgraded the standard field agent's gauntlet with something our science bods have affectionately named the Zapper. Not exactly an elegant name, but it does the trick. When triggered, the Zapper sends out an electrical impulse that shatters any nearby Sanguizoo's glamours forthwith, eliminating what is not and leaving only what is. Once finished, these new gauntlets will be distributed to cells nationwide post haste, allowing us to sweep our respective territories for glamoured nooks and crannies 
This is the beginning of a new age, gentlemen. Armed with this gauntlet, there is no way our enemy can surprise us. Zapper Tesla. Hell <laughs> yeah. Prize. <laughs> oh, way our enemy could. So Boom. Freaking helium balloon. Innovative device created within the RI to disrupt the vampiric illusions. Born on the left hand and utilized as a support tool in combat. Thanks to its capabilities to discharge and create electric arc on demand. Press LB for block. Dude, that's so rad. Zapper can electrocute enemies. Press the LB block button when the enemy is attacking you to electrocute them and make open towards the E combo. What? Oh, here's my coffee cup. You got it. Thank you. Sick ass combo. Uh, that was rad, dude. All right, new new pork. I got new pork, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. New pork, brother. Keep pressing RB to deal fast melee attacks to the nearest electric enemy. <laughs> That's sick, bro. All right. <laughs> Good luck. Have fun. Oh seven fatality. <laughs> Eight sin. Have a great night. Thank you so much for hanging out. It's been a blast. Great, uh, great conversation pieces there. Bear versus Rhino. Shit, man. Zombie. Zombie or mummy. Mummy or zombie. One of the same. Never the same. Ah. Love it. Why does this do? Shoot it. <laughs> okay. Well, that was bad. We got attacked. It's pretty Jesus bad. Jesus Christ. Hope Edgar made it out in one piece. Dude, Edgar's dead, I bet. Zapper pull? The Zapper's electric arc can pull enemies. Wow, inside their HP indicator. LBL. What the f Oh, like that. Okay, so like this. Wait, so like, isn't that? Oh my god. Bitch, 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 bitch. That's just fucking awesome. Come here. Bitch, 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 New pork. Zapper pole, yeah. Stripper pole. Ah, oh, smoke. <laughs> Gotta find a way to the stables. Gotta find a way to the stables. I like the explosion of blood as you punch them in half. It, it, dude, it's, it's really tickling a certain uh, Gears of War-esque kind of gore that I've been craving since Gears of War 3. Maybe I could 
string a rope somewhere. Maybe I can string a rope somewhere. He's such a he's such a cowboy, baby. Right that night, cause I sleep all day. Dude, this stream's gonna get claimed. I sleep all day. What the shit is it throwing at me? Oh, 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 oh. Absolutely not. God damn. Oh, there's another one of them. Stop doing that kind of shit to me. Oh. Oh, shit ass. That was it? Oh, thank God. New lore. I bet there is. Infected Proteus. Kind of gives me some Darksiders vibes. Yes. Yep, no tea parties yet. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> There's no academic consensus among RI scientists as to how or why the Proteus grows a toxic, parasitic worm in its guts. It expels these worms as a defense mechanism, and they explode on impact. Some ex some suspect that certain vampiric genetic traits mingle with intestinal bacteria to birth this new creature. Others believe that vampire blood carries microscopic parasites that grow into larva once fed by the host body. <clears throat> Though Proteus are not particularly bright, they are extremely dangerous and unpredictable in a fight. Wow. Uggos. Bunch of uggos, man. This guy's dead body's just spinning. I don't think I've seen a woman yet in this game. Has there been a girl? Has there been a female in this game yet? I don't think so. It's all a bunch of dudes. This guy, there's had to be a woman. Think. Think, Dimash. Think. Have we seen a lady, guys? Edgar, the daughter. Did you hear me? The vampire daughter. That doesn't far. count. Jess, thank Christ. Where's my father? Still kicking ass. Last time I saw him. Old fool thinks he's still in the field. Listen, he wants us to destroy the archives before these assholes get their hands on it. You get to it, and I'll find Harold's pampered ass. Meet me out front. All right. Meet you out front. I thought I'd have to blow up my own house. Damn, dude. Tidy it up. Tidy it up. Hold on, pal. You're gonna be fine. You okay, Agent? Just hold on. Oh, see, that guy's dead. Three hundred eighty-three bucks. I guess so, Lobos. Yeah. Christ! What a massacre! I'm gonna find who did this. 
this you asshole. Follow the cables to find the exit. Eighty-eight bucks. Zapper dash. The zapper's electrical arc can be used to dash toward the enemy. Hold LB and L to snap into enemy positions and electrocute it. Bitch, 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 yeah, bitch, 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 Good punch. I'll take that 154 bucks. Bucks. It's so hard, Tack. You have enough bucks to buy an upgrade. <laughs> you make the skeletons dance. <laughs> Women can be possessed demons and zombies too. This is true, man. I, you know, I know a couple of them that probably are. Oh, a laugh from the kitchen. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. All right. Can I buy perks? No, I can buy upgrades. Okay. Healing. It said invulnerability. Uh, this is for the Alver. Got the cool bullet one. All right. Got that. Okay. Same to match. Same. <laughs> I don't mean to be so. What's it called when you ha take a big concept and you down to its simplest form? It's called uh in a douche. What's it called? <laughs> Maddie, what's the word? Did you hear me? Being a douche? It's good. Yeah, okay, it's called being a skadoosh. Uh, let's do the healing one. Five second and vulnerable. Condense. I don't, I don't mean to be so... I don't mean... I'm sorry. I don't mean to be so... Reductive? I don't know. Anyway, this game's this game's fucking cool, man. <laughs> Look at this suit. Well, that's a straight up robot, dude. Redacted, oversimplified. Yes, I don't mean to be so oversimplified. Simplify. <laughs> Oh, I can't. With the tea. Get up there. I'm smelling puppies. It's because they're over here farting. These puppies fart, bro. Just changed food, too, so they're gonna fucking fart. Dude, look at all the vampire heads, man. Ah. Shut your ugly traps. How nasty, man. Hundred and one bucks. Joseph Warren and great grandfather Dick. To find the tech headquarters, he let the Brits take him captive. Would have loved to have seen the surprise on their faces when he incinerated those tick nests and saved their royal asses. Hmm. Yep. 
puppy dog. What kind of puppy is it? It's a puppy dog. Good one. Give me a second. Show. It's on pause. Puppy break. Puppy break, and we'll go to here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, welcome to the news desk. This is the news desk. Face is big. I should wash my face. Alright. It's two puppies. I cannot get them. Hold on. This one puppy. This one's Saren. This one's dippity. And they are peekapoo. So they are. Pekingese and <laughs> Labradoodle. Like, they look like Mastiffs. <laughs> Pekingese and Labradoodle, they're beautiful. They're weird as shit. It's in a cute way, though. Yep, Saren and Dippity. Serenade and Dippity Dog. Sorry, it's not dippity dope. It's deputy dippity. Serenade and deputy dippity. Oh, I didn't see how many bucks I got that time. That's a bummer, I can man. Smell the gas. Jumpings. Oh, I have to... Okay, most games you can just, you know... Let's fucking jump. But nah, this one's got that. <laughs> I, I like that. Good, good, uh, good uh, line there, Lobos. It's a puppy dog. Gotta destroy this place before the break into the archives. Jesus, gotta get out of here. It's gonna blow. Okay, oh shit. up into the air and then shoot him up there suck 
good butt, baby. Enjoy the combat. It's a guilty pleasure, I must say. That's really fun. <laughs> oh shit, we're still on big screen face, man. This is not good. How come no say nothing? Can't be on big, big screen face, man. Look at my bad, no, my bad teeth. Eee, get out of here. Why is not eh, ew. Sick jumpin', dude. Parkour. <laughs> Madfish, thank you so much, honey. I hope you have some, too. A, B... What's tomorrow? Tomorrow's Friday? My God. We can stay up all night. Keep me up all night. Now to find my father. Dude, a classic video game movie fiction line. No, gotta find my father. 86 bucks, baby. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh shit, what is this? What the fuck are you? <laughs> he says, what the fuck are you? Where is he? Oh shit! Ripped his spine out. Two thousand bucks. Perk point. Zapper slam on the spot. Quake punch. Jam slam. Icarus. Pound 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 town. Jack pound. What was it called? Poundy town. <laughs> Forget what it was called. All right, we got some cool, some cool shit going on here. Hitting an enemy's weak spot has a fifteen percent chance to drop a health pickup. Cannonball. Kickoff and hero punch deal additional splash damage to nearby enemies. That could be kind of cool. AoE. A key ah there. Hero punch. R, B, and A. That's right. Hold L, B, and R, B to jump forward. Smash the ground with a damaging blast. Nearby enemies take higher damage and are knocked down. Use your movement just the direction of the attack. That's red. Killing a mid-air enemy has a 100% chance of dropping the energy pickup. I mean, an energy pickup? All right. Chaining the next RB melee combo attack right when the previous one connects deals 30% increase. Damn. I like this one. Hold LB for an AoE attack, which consumes energy. <clears throat> Gather energy by dealing melee attacks and performing finishers. Yeah. 
Hell yeah, dude. Rock him, sock him, kick him in the shins. Yeah. Oh, I just just rip him in half. Why don't you? There you go. Boo hag. <laughs> Boo hags first appeared in Gullah culture and folklore. Folklore, but there are no. But they are no myth. Unlike regular sanguisuge, sanguishas, boo hags can't grow their own skin. So they hunt humans for theirs. Some used to believe that a boo hag wearing the skin of its prey could walk among humans in broad daylight. But that has been disproven as boo hags aren't civilized or smart enough to come off as believably human. Or so they think. So they think. Let's see here. Sorry, I'm just getting the stream up on my phone. Let's get back to it. Gross. Picking up the energy containers will instantly fill an empty battery energy charge. Noise. All right, let's see here. I got some money. Can't, can't really spend it. Just upgrades. Yeah, I don't have enough. Good one, Godfrey. Yeah. I need... oh, it's all gone. Hundred and fifteen bucks. Bitch! Bitch! Oh! Yeah! Hacky smacky and suck a dicky! Babies. Oh my god, man. 
The carnage. The carnage. It's hard for me to be believably human sometimes. <laughs> Dude. Oh, 07. Agreed and echoed. I echoed, my friend. Yes. That's what I mean. Echo. Same. Same seats. Hung God free. Yeah. Hi, puppies. Yeah. Oh, I love the yelling. It's just, that's just tremendous. Oh, thanks for the coffee, Maddie. 296 bucks. Some singing going. What the fuck is this? Get him out of here. I got this. Don't be cross with me, Father. I couldn't leave you at the mercy of these savages. Could you not do that, you fleshy toad? You nearly hit him. for that old wound. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ, don't get old, son. Yeah, yeah, never get married. Now stop blabbing, you're gonna be fine. I know what I'm doing. This is the key, Jesse. Don't let it out of your sight. It's all we've got. It's in your hands now. <sighs> we need to stop. Stop? We need to get the fuck out of here. We need to find a defensive position to hold us over till morning. Then we head to Calico. Morning. Keep moving, buddy. My wife could blow this defensive position over with a wet fart. We Jesus. need the higher ground. The fuck, man? And that's where the sun will hit first. I'll get the horses, and we'll stand our ground up there. It's like I got a shotgun. Yeah, the Rentier Boomstick, baby. A heavy hit, a heavy, a heavy hitting, sawed off shotgun. Ideal for close combat and capable of dealing damage to multiple, but uh, use it with X when not on cooldown. TA Institute. It's a pretty thing, isn't it? All right. Fancy. It's X to use it, huh? Okay, this is a big ass fucking boom boom. I see. Mm-hmm. 
the combat is so fun. Music that twang. Thirty-seven bucks. Doubles the maximum HP until depleted. Nice overhealth. Kick ace. How many of these guys are there? It's probably lots of them. Eighty-one bucks. Damage and eventually break the enemy's shield. Hit it with the RB gauntlet's punches or the X Rentier boomstick, Rentier, which is significantly more effective. Alternatively, the enemy's back is vulnerable to ranged attacks. Bitch. There goes his shield, baby. this one. Damn 
Boom! I'm dead again. Oh my god. That's one gnarly looking rodeo. <laughs> Yeehaw, baby. Yeehaw. They call him the fat boy. Good one, Maddie. Rodeo. Sweetie, I don't look like a matador. Like a matador, yeah, 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 a little bit, yeah. Toro, Toro. I don't think he likes me. vulnerable to attacks during during that swing sesh okay all right okay makes sense hey big boy you hit fucking hard dude fight back oops right I just landed just that's awesome Close that time. Oh, sir. Oh, shit. 
Okay, don't engage those enemies close to him. Here. Man, that shit's fun, dude. Okay, take her on the chin. So red at the ready, one bullet shy, fist of steel. How fun! How fun! That was rad. All right, cool. Check out the upgrade. I wake up to baby. Yeah, me, hey, dude. Midair shot. Revolver can now fit an additional bullet. It's not worth it, bro. Uh, improved boomstick reload mechanism that allows for a 20% faster cooldown. Performing the zapper pull dash supercharges the gauntlet greatly increases the next melee push of damage. Thank you. Energy refill. I'd like some bugs, please. Everybody move up, up. Oh shit, dude, more. Cover me, Red CA! Damn you! Got it. All right, sixty seven bucks. Smash. Smash. Oh, I have perk points to spend. Two hundred and twenty five bucks. Finders keepers. New lore. <gasps> the future. The sanguis. The sanguisuge. Transport their transformative vampiric elixir in giant leeches. These massive invertebrates keep the quality and purity of the blood intact. To grow such large leeches, they must fatten up their victims and then use them as blood banks. Occasionally, the leeches' bodily fluids mix with the blood of victims and create a green creature. It's massive. 
and though not technically a vampire, it does possess superhuman strength and ability. Jesus Christ. Say. William Rantier. William inherited the responsibilities of his father and became the sixth director of the Rentier Institute. He inspired his troops in a way his father never did. They followed him not out of duty, but because they believed in him. They trusted him tirelessly, tirelessly and took his responsibilities with the utmost seriousness. Once an accomplished field agent, a wound he suffered during the Civil War forced William behind desk. Walks with a limp and no longer has the physical stamina. He sees the Rentier Institute as a modern day round table, agents as his knights. He's in, in, he is inculcated. Son, same beliefs, inculcated, teaching them that they are in holy war with the unholy. In service of this, William created the gauntlet. A weapon of great power that can destroy Van. Best summers. They're so sweet. They're so sweet. James Haddow. During the war between the states, Harrow fought for the 5th Vermont Infantry and Lieutenant Colonel. He led the famous Vermont Brigade in the Battle of Gettysburg. After the war, he went to politics. He was elected mayor. 1870 and eventually became a state senator. He later served as Vermont's attorney general. After one term as a U.S. senator, President Grover Cleveland made Harrow his assistant secretary of war. In that position, his responsibilities include the supervision of the Rentier Institute and any national threat related to the preternatural. Over the last few decades, Chester made extensive contacts with various underworld characters. He provides inside intel to all his connections and has made quite a few enemies in the process. Well known as a fixer in the vampire community, served, what is he doing? And has served as an errand boy and courier for prominent highborns. Sorry, guys, Godfrey just kicked over the dog food. I gotta take care of it. Puppy. Right, Thanks for sticking around. No, puppy. My microphone has to go here. Hi, this game. <laughs> Look at AI is shit. But I'm really I'm really enjoying it. It's fun. Hold on. Just gotta change my uh Changing my cartridge around. I just finished this one. It's done. So. This 
one's kind of empty too, but. Is that right? Bad looks. Survive till dawn. Oh. Smack, bitch, 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 bitch. happen just a little longer sun's almost up sudden Jesus powers are just overloaded the gauntlet first. punch away while you can out of lightning good thing we still got a big shiny ace up our sleeve Think he's breathing. Calico, he's dead. it's around the corner. There's a doctor there. Calico Town. The R. Okay. There's a lady. Doc, we need help. Lewis, protocol Epsilon. <laughs> Sit down and roll up your sleeve. We will save your father, Mr. Rentier. Cell's engineer. Virgil. Virgil only. It's an honor to finally meet you in the flesh. Uh, sir, 
Your gauntlet is a thing of beauty. Only a genius could... I need that fixed. Yesterday. I'll need a bigger lab if I'm gonna solve the mysteries of time travel, sir. I mean... How are we doing? Arrow needs a scapegoat. He won't leave without someone to blame for that fiasco. Pissed off little Highborn looking for her maker's head? No one could have predicted that. I don't think she did all that for just Abano. We're missing something. I bet my last buck we'll hear more from this Felicity tick pretty soon. I'm gonna check if Amelia needs some backup with Harrow. Who do I have to bend over this bar and indiscreetly fuck to get some coffee around here? <laughs> what a day. See you in the briefing room. <laughs> what the fuck, what a sentence, dude. What a sentence. Why I have to bet bar and indiscreetly fuck to get some coffee. I need to check on my gauntlet first. There must be a workshop somewhere around. Hold on. Chain of command. Killing a mid-air enemy. Kick off and hero punch deal additional splash damage to nearby enemies. Brad, I do like a good old AOE. Ooh. Uh, hold LB while looking at a mid-air enemy to smash them into the ground with an arc. Slamming enemies creates a small blast which knocks down other enemies. All pickups are now collected from a distance. RB. Kick off and he splashed. Oh, did I have upgrades? Like, no. I'm sorry, the bucks. bucks. I don't bucks like that. God damn. I'm taking it. Eight bucks. Cool place y'all got here. Hey, yeah, mermaid guy. Okay. Merman. Okay. Spot for the electric chair, you know? Mr. Renty. Yeah? Mr. Harrow wants to see you as soon as you're done in the workshop. Okay. Jesus, what a fucking dump. <laughs> Did you see the size of that cockroach? Should have taken it immediately to the airship. That's such a fucking piece of shit, dude. Thanks, Father, sir. Oh, yeah, dude, 64 bucks, man. More bucks back here. Abilities reset. Use Virgil's new device in his workshop to reset and reassign all perks. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, heard that already. This is the thing to reset. Upgrades and perk reset. Would you like to reset all weapon upgrades? Oh. Bit rocking in the free world. Maybe later. Maybe later when I decide I don't like it. Virgil's curriculum. Virgil Olney, engineer, born 1873. 
graduated from R.I. Science Training 1888. Oh, wow. Vir official member of R.I. since 1888. Virgil Olney was discovered as an infant in the lair of a Chinese necromancer, having barely survived some sort of arcane ritual. Brought back to Calico to research what was done to him. His recovery took some time, but the young man proved sharp as a tack. He had a real talent for science and technology, and eventually graduated first in his class. Who does he think he is? The heir to the fucking crown! Well, according to the protocols, if the director is unable to fulfill his duties, his next of kin takes... SDC agreed to that! Stuff, slick stuff, neat stuff. When I got your goddamn gilded invitation, I expected champagne and canapes. Instead, some fang fuck broke into your headquarters and slapped you all around like a gaggle of whimpering sissies. <laughs> now the entire country is left unprotected while I stand here with my dick in my hand like an idiot. <laughs> so again, could someone please tell me how the fuck did this happen? Security services were redirected to protect our most valuable asset. And how the fuck wasn't that me? That was my father's call, and it was Agent Gravener's quick thinking that saved your life, sir. For all the fucking good it'll do once I tell the Capitol that its primary defense against all kinds of monsters just collapsed. We'll take care of it, sir. What, from here? This place is a shithole at the edge of fucking nowhere. And don't be fooled by our humble trappings, Secretary Harrow. Calico Cell has the highest survival rate in the Institute as well as its very best engineer. We are your only chance of turning this around. Then I expect a report on those tick assholes on my desk first thing, doctor. And who the fuck are you? I, uh, uh, um... <sighs> nice. Wait a minute. I'm the best engineer? You better be, because we need this thing operational as soon as possible, before Harrow comes back to string us all up. Arrow can suck my... How bad is it? Well, the glamour disruptor's fried. Then we have the insulation around the power coupling. Can you fix it or not? It's doable, but I'll need time. A few weeks, a month tops. We ain't what? got that long. We have to be ready to take down this Felicity character when we find her. You mean if we find them? We have no idea where to even look. Not necessarily. To the north, there's a canyon surrounding the main trail. And the unimaginative locals call it the Devil's Pass. And reports mention possibly unknown vampiric specimens. And we chalked it down to hearsay, but now we sent our top sanguisuge expert to investigate. Thank you, by expert, you mean a field agent and not another bookworm. Scott Bloom co-wrote the Institute's Sanguisuge Best. We need soldiers, not pencil pushers. I can't run around looking for a missing egghead hoping that maybe he brings something to the table. When did he last report? Five days ago. Now let's just hope he's lost in research. <laughs> okay. Find Agent Scott Bloom. Got a missing agent, Scott Bloom. Jesus, it scared me. Bad blood, not good. Mangled, mutilated, and ripped apart. Bloom, what did you walk into? Shit, dude, 79 bucks.
81 books. This species appears to possess shape-shifting abilities, most uncommon for the typical sanguisuge. I dare say, this ability might be blood-dependent, mm. but it's hard to tell based on the limited amount of evidence found. I'm wondering if we're witnessing some sort of accelerated evolution, spurred perhaps by certain unknown environmental factors. Sir, that you're dead. Something terribly wrong is happening. Nog Nogal? Stephen Nogal? Um, Nogals were once human beings cursed with a shape shifting affliction. Seeking a cure, they pledged obedience to vampires when the bloodsuckers promised to help them remain in true form. This form, however, turned out to be a bloodthirsty, bestial soldier under the sway of its vampiric master. Nugals usually move in packs, and their howling can strengthen the resolve of others of their kind, boosting their combat ability toss. Scott Bloom. Scott Bloom is an expert in odd monsters and rarities. He hails from a wealthy New England family that lost its fortune due to the eccentric eccentricities of Scott's father. Spelling there. A demented and obsessive dabbler. After being tragically orphaned, Mysterious accident. Bloom grew up alone in a haunted manor house, surrounded by nothing but his father's books on the occult. When R.I. came to investigate Bloom Manor, they found young Bloom and discovered his unmatched expertise in the history of the occult. They drafted him into the institute. Eventually, he found himself assigned to Calico Outpost, where he investigated the ancient preternatural creatures of the Great Plains and the American West. Blackwell. Emilia F. Blackwell received her M.D. from the Medical College of Pennsylvania in 1879. That degree combined with her expertise in botany gave post with the, the Rentier Institute. She proves herself during the so-called Walking Coffins incident in Baltimore, where she not only treated agents for their wounds, but worked as pathologists to suss out the mystery behind the matter. She became R.I.'s first female researcher and soon joined a team investigating the medicinal properties of Orchid de la Vida found near Lake Marcus. Eric Brooks, the leader of the research effort, asked William Rentier to reassign Amelia to Calico as he didn't feel she was a team player. She accepted her assignment to that distant outpost and in time turned Calico into one of to one the Institute's most successful operations. Another. Young tech savvy engineer assigned to R.I. Ca R.I.'s calico po outpost, discovered as an infant Chinese. Movie. Felicity Obano, as an orphan child, Felicity experienced the worst life had to offer. Beaten, scorned, abused, and starved, she was tormented daily by those who had more. Peter de Abano found her living on the streets of Kingston. Because she reminded him of his lost daughter, he gave her the gift of eternal life. 
she's now a powerful vampire, Yabano's ward and protege. As a result of what she experienced as a child, she sees the human world as corrupt. Like Diabano, she firmly believes that war with vampires and mutants is inevitable. Let's prevent. I get out of here then. Uh, that's the way I came. Come from where'd you go? All the money. Ah, uh, eighty nine. enough bucks to buy an upgrade. Ooh, I don't have to buy them in Sassan Sadly. It's fantastic. Extra bullet in the room. Oh, I have 69 bucks left. Getting sleepy. Saw you pour. Hang in. Some cod. I'm about to wrap this up. Next checkpoint. Moved for There we go. Unique oh, chests are usually video. hidden off the main path and contain either weapon upgrades, perks, or perks. Happy hunting. Books. Booming business. All mine. Here at the bottom. Unlocked a perk. Booming business. All exploding TNT crates deal damage in a 50% larger. It also works. It's perk. Sounds great. Also, it's boomtastic. Exactly. There we go. I knew I was missing something. Actually, quite an entertaining game. Careful. Ah, oh, damn it! Ah, oh, damn it! I'm glad I'm alive. There's dead. Dead end. Fucking great. Fucking Gotta great, find another dude. Way. Hope I'll find some trace of Bloom. For my signal, ready. Drop him on me yet? <laughs> oh, Come on. big boomer. It's killing time. Come here, you son of a! <laughs> You're too weak.
Nice. Got it. Damn, dude. Servant Brute. Servant Brutes are familiar to partake in Vampiric Communion. They're not fully transformed. They're not fully transformed. The gift of blood makes the Brutes extraordinarily strong. Their massive muscles can repair and regenerate in a short period of time. Gross. Jumping, jumping, jumper roo there, bud. 113 bucks. Well, hey, thanks for hanging out late night tonight on this late night Thursday night. Let's say night again a couple of times. Um, it's been super fun. This game is great. Back with, uh, I think, some control tomorrow. <gasps> Have a new animal lineup this for you guys. Is protected like some kind of vault. What are they hiding here? That's useful. Hundred and seventy nine bucks. Too far to jump. Okay. Find an object in some pleasant. I see, I see. Fifty-eight bucks. Seven bucks. I'm sorry, I'll stop doing that. For ten bucks. What the hell was that? Bastard's trying to kill me. I'm taking it. Shit, he turned into a, a wolfie.
That did it. It's been two minutes and two minutes and six seconds to my last save. Not not a big deal. Last checkpoint. What a fun, fun little little game here. It's multiplayer. <laughs> Somebody wants to play online co-op with me. It's on Xbox. Hella rad. Thanks so much, guys. It's been a blast. It has been so much fun. I'll see you again tomorrow night with another episode of Late Night with Good to Game back into some to control. You know, just controlling the thing. Have a good evening, folks. See you soon.